Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about the DJI Pocket 2. Is it good? Is it worth it? What are the drawbacks to it? And is it right for you? Now, the DJI Pocket 2 is an absolute vloggy machine that you can take everywhere with fantastic stabilization. It is a mini pocket gimbal that can capture great cinematic footage at a very affordable price with a small form factor. Now, the DJI Pocket 2 has a 1.7 CMOS size sensor, which is a little small, meaning it won't perform great in low light. It does, however, make up for it with its 20 millimeter f 1.8 lens which means the lens is pretty fast but due to the small sensor size it's still not fantastic also because the sensor size is so small and it's a 20, 20 millimeter lens it's meaning you're not going to have the widest angle for vlogging that a lot of vloggers like however as you can see in the footage a lot of vloggers still are able to make it work the camera takes 64 megapixel photos but i'm sure you care more about the video stats which it shoots 4k at 60 fps to 2.7k at 60 fps as well as 1080p at 60 fps the camera has a maximum of eight times zoom but only has a four time lossless zoom meaning if you're zooming in further than eight times you don't have a lower quality image the camera has four microphones with directional audio and sound tracking it has an amazing 140 minutes of battery life and obviously has a very small form factor now the dji pocket 2 has a significantly better microphones than the original pocket which is definitely a reason to upgrade. It also has a significantly better hybrid autofocus system that does a great job grabbing subjects and moving with them. This is especially useful if you're trying to record anything that's fast moving. And the DJI Pocket 2, it now also records 4K, which the DJI Pocket did not. So if you're looking to upgrade or purchase this device, please check out the Amazon link in the description to check the updated price on this product. The DJI Pocket 2 also has a redesign from the original so that the wrist strap can attach to the camera instead of just carrying the case. It's a subtle upgrade, but a useful one. The Pocket now has a detachable base that can be swapped out for a base with a tripod mount or any accessory called the Do It All Hand, which costs roughly around $100. Again, you can find that in the link in the description. Description. It's an amazing accessory for this device. It turns the pocket into a live streaming tool and allows you to use all the DJI Mimo app without attaching your phone to the camera. The do it all hand increases the total size a bit, but the benefits that come with this tool make it well worth the extra bulk. Now you can attach the DJI Pocket 2 to your phone. However, in doing so, you're going to have to remove your phone case and it's going to make the DJI Pocket way more bulky and harder to use. So that's why we recommend just getting the do it all hand. That sort of mean you don't have to use the, your mobile phone, making it much more convenient. The DJI Pocket 2 stabilization is obviously excellent with everything that DJI releases. Even while running in with a full sprint, it's possible to deliver footage that was remarkably smooth. Or when you're driving with a car, even going in tough situations with lots of potholes or attaching it to some sort of bike, no matter what, you don't be able to get excellent footage with this camera. Now, a cool feature that this camera actually has is its drop aware. So if the gimbal senses that it's in danger, it should deactivate the gimbal. However, we do not recommend trying this. This is hopefully to reduce the damage to the motors in the gimbal in case of it being dropped. The photos on the DJI Pocket 2 are significantly improved. However, they're not amazing. The photos are good. But if you're looking to take photos, a proper camera is significantly better than the DJI Pocket 2. This is definitely has a more focus on video. In summary, the DJI Pocket 2 is great for any YouTuber that's looking to do vlog style content or anyone that's trying to capture smooth video footage especially because of its many features that include lots of convenient video styles, that include video tracking so you can record yourself doing various activities, as well as the wireless microphone that will come with the creator kit that we'll leave a link to in the description, allowing you to record great wireless audio. It's incredibly convenient and addresses many of the original Osmo Pocket's shortcomings, making it a fantastic upgrade or new purchase. Since the product is so cheap, I think it's much better to get the DJI Pocket 2 instead of buying the Pocket 1 first to save money. I think you're going to get much better value from the Pocket 2 as it's an overall great 4K camera. As I said, if you guys want to check out any of the products mentioned, please use the link in the description. Also, like, subscribe, and I'm out. See ya.